Hi Pisces, welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her Tarot. I love to see that you prefer me. What about the topic of your reading and see what's going on with you all? Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading. Pisces, let's start off with the overall energy and then we'll get into the most important messages for you all. Um, Pisces, remember to engage with the video if you all enjoy it. Let me know if you all want me to continue to drop videos for you all. So let's get into this reading. Overall energy for the sign of Pisces, please, and thank you. We have the page of swords came out and then it flipped out in reverse. Some of you all could be, um, <clears throat> I don't know if you're, you're witnessing this or this is how someone is feeling about you, where you might be all talk and not really about what you're saying that you want to do. That's just the that's the, that's the card there. Um, some of you all could be looking, uh, could be over analyzing the situation, could be not quite ready for something that you feel like you know something about. The Temperance card, patience. Yes, yeah, sources saying like just wait it out, um, look more into it. Be be careful. Look at. It's like you have to look at the um the the small print. What's the page of swords in re, in reverse energy? for the sign of Pisces, but we do have the Wheel of Fortune coming out, so things turning around in your favor, how, mm, we have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, with the Two of Cups, and then we have the, um, your energy with the Hangman, the Two of Cups, I mean, Two of Swords, and then, um, the Queen of Cups. This could be one of those situations where you may have put, <coughs> Should I say it like this? All of your eggs in one basket or um, what is it called? No, 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 no. It's more so like counting, 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 counting your eggs before they hatch. Counting, counting the chickens before they hatch. Yeah. Or counting legs or counting, counting eggs before they lay. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune here. It's like you feel like you knew something or someone. But you might, you might need to look more into it. You might need to uh, receive more information about something. The Knight of Pentacles, something slowing down. Or you feel like you've been um, in this cycle of having to wait for so long. Maybe feeling like someone or something is getting over on you or whatnot. Most important messages for the sign of Pisces, please. And thank you. We have the Magician card coming out. It's about manifesting here. Be smart while manifesting. We have the King of Swords there being logical. More messages for the sign of Pisces. Most important messages for the sign of Pisces. Yes, yeah, time to get to work. We have the Eight of Pentacles and then that Five of Swords did come out. The Justice card at the bottom of the deck. Doing was right type of energy. Libra, Libra energy. And then we have the full card, Aries energy. Doing was right when it, com when it comes down to this new beginning or creating this new beginning for yourself. That could be like, I'm. why am I feeling like that may be sneaky behavior with that Page of Swords in reverse? Where you... Someone may have wanted you to get involved with something that they say was fortunate, but um, all it is, maybe you feel like you, you're getting this waiting game with this energy. Can I get more? One more card for the sign of Pisces. We have, there you are. Just wait, wait it out. You have to kind of let go. Let go and see how things pan out. Um, do, your, do your due diligence. In the meantime, the Queen of Cups, there you are again with the World Card, King of Pentacles energy. You might be done with the... Um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn individual, maybe, maybe not. Um, <clears throat> there's some sneaky energy right there. It's like you're expecting something to be. You're expecting some type of um, deception or something like that, or you're something you're expecting something to be deceptive. Let me move on. What's the magician card? Clarify the magician card. Um, <clears throat> we have the higher. I mean, excuse me, the emperor card. Uh, masculine energy and then we have the lover's card and then we have the ace of cups it looks like someone okay that might be feeling like you knew something about someone and you need to see further details about the energy or this individual maybe feel like you're falling in love or wanted to manifest this certain person or what okay oh no y'all be cool be cool be cool i know that people do this stuff but it seems like i know people do this stuff so i'm asking you to like avoid doing it if you're thinking about it or you're doing like um some type of magic in order Love spell type of energy in order to keep someone close, in order to get them to love you, in order to make, in order for them to fall in love with you and do stuff, whatever, to give you all type of attention and stuff like that. That's kind of what I'm getting here, but that's not for everyone. That's for someone out there. <clears throat> it's like let it go, hang man. <sighs> that's 
them type of situation seems like you almost end up getting getting over on yourself. You think you're getting over on someone. You think you're manipulating someone else. But you low-key end up manipulating yourself into a situation that you don't want to be in. So, Source is asking you to just let go. Let things play out. What's this Eight of Pentacles energy for the sign of Pisces? Um, yeah, we have the Ace of Eight of Swords, self-imposed imprisonment. Um, yeah, dang. As I say that, it's almost as if you want to try to keep someone trapped. You or someone else trying to keep a person trapped here. Five of cups, five of cups, feeling sorry, feel like they messed up the higher from car. See, the best thing here is like to learn from your past mistakes. So last past mistakes or whatnot. I'm here. What's the last thing? Anyway, um, learning from your past mistakes. <clears throat> Having compassion towards yourself and others. Yeah, letting go of a situation where you feel like you it, it wasn't enough, you didn't have enough, feel like you're missing out or something like this energy of FOMO. Um, let me move forward. What's the five of swords? That didn't feel right in this like three cards, but I'll take it. It is what it is. We have the seven of wands energy in reverse. We have the eight of wands energy in reverse. We have the six of cups. I was just talking about letting go. We have the five of wands at the bottom of the deck chariot card and moving forward with the who what devil three of swords energy behind the devil all right um how is someone moving what's going on here so we have the seven of wands energy in reverse eight of wands in reverse so miscommunication it could be miscommunication it could be low-key backfire since i wanted to since i brought up um <clears throat> what's the the, the uh, love spell stuff like that we have the seven of Seven of Wands in reverse would be someone like feeling like um, they don't know how to protect themselves or feeling like they have to um, always defend themselves. Like you go into this defensive energy um, and then things get chaotic. Arguments start to uh, pursue or whatnot uh, or some, someone pursues an argument or whatnot. What? I don't think that's right. I, I don't know why it's coming out like that. I feel like it's supposed to be into or something like that what the where's my um but anyway i don't want to focus on the uh wording of things right now i just i'm just picking up what i was hearing so getting into arguments because someone being overly defensive miscommunication um and someone having to let go of the past let me move forward what's the emperor card Excuse me for the grammar and, and vocabulary mistakes, you all. So, um, the Six of Swords energy, the Nine of Swords energy, the Queen of Wands energy, the Eight of Cups energy. So, trying to maybe, uh, hope, hopefully that music outside is not interfering with my video because I don't want you to be tripping. But, um, because those other songs that I was just hearing, I did not know any of it at all because it was uh, Hispanic music. But this I know that song. So hopefully I could. Maybe I should turn on the air conditioning. So it might be a little loud. But I want to avoid the noise that I'm hearing outside the music. Okay. I don't want that to affect my video. So hopefully you all still hear me clearly. Yes, it looks like you all can. So um, you all... So it looks like um, you may have manifested a certain individual, a certain en energy in your life. But at this point in time, you might be ready to walk away from it. Especially if it's a person that you were sleeping with. Has some type of chemistry with this person or whatnot. You're ready to probably remove yourself from this energy. Or this person is probably re ready to remove themselves from whoever this is. Okay? Let's move forward to some advice really quickly. What's the advice for the sign of Pisces? Controlling your emotions. Being emotionally stable, emotionally mature, King of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, weigh things out. It's time, to, uh, it's time to allow yourself to heal something here. What's this King of Cups energy? We have the full card, a new beginning. Don't give up on what it is that you want in the long term or whatnot for yourself, but maybe not be fixed on the outcome or who it's with. What's the full card for the sign of, look. Pisces. We have a relationship, a home, the star card, two of swords. So yes, that's it's something that you want, but it may not happen the way you expect it to happen. Okay, Pisces. I think I'm gonna leave this here. That was your reading. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave a like, share, all of that good stuff. I love, I love you all that love me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.